President Trump's tweets aimed at Congressman Elisha Cummings and the city he represents, Baltimore. We are leaving the spin on cable news to bring you the facts. And here's what happened today. The president met with a group, he, what he calls wonderful inner city pastors. It was a closed door meeting to talk about issues facing the black community. Meanwhile, Mr. Trump is labeling Congressman Cummings a racist. He's also attacking the Reverend Al Sharpton, calling him a con man who hates whites and cops. Bottom line, don't expect black leaders in Virginia to show up when President Trump comes to town tomorrow. Here's to new her. As President Donald Trump prepares to touch down in Hampton Roads Tuesday, a number of black lawmakers are sending a clear message. They're sitting out from the event in Jamestown. The inclusion of the president uh, with this particular event really flies in the face of everything that is about democracy, diversity, and opportunity. Delegate Marcia Price of the 95th District is the secretary of the Virginia Legislative Black Caucus. She says she and her peers have agreed to skip the ceremony, marking the 400th anniversary of the first representative assembly in the Western Hemisphere. The moment that made it solidified for me is when he told people that look like me to go back home. How do I go to Jamestown where my ancestors were enslaved and celebrate or commemorate our 400 year complicated history with a man that literally wants me to go back to Africa? The VLBC said in a statement, the commemoration of the birth of this nation and its democracy will be tarnished unduly with the participation of the president who continues to make degrading comments toward minorities minority leaders, promulgate policies that harm marginalized communities, and use racist and xenophobic rhetoric. When something's not right, you stand up and speak out about it, but we wanted to utilize our time wisely and actually commemorate those 400 years, and that's what we're choosing to do in Richmond. That's what the group is doing instead of going to Jamestown, leading its own ceremony in Richmond, along with an exhibit at the Virginia Museum for History and Culture. What I want people to know is that there is a way to commemorate the full story. All right, Chinu, so what does this event in Richmond look like tomorrow? Yeah, so it will kick off tomorrow at 9 a.m. at the state capitol with the wreath laying ceremony, and those events will go on until noon. And also, I did reach out to Congressman Bobby Scott. His team tells me he is not going to that event tomorrow in Jamestown. All right, of course, we will cover it. We'll be there. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Chinu. A quick traffic note, the Jamestown Ferry will not run during the president's visit. The last ferry leaves Scotland at 9 and Jamestown at 930. Things will be back to normal around 1 o'clock.